I love this movie. Oh, and thank you. So you knocked it out of the park for your first screenplay. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, can you talk to me about the development of it? Yeah. Um, I wrote it uh, fairly quickly in the spring of 2010 and um, had Paul and me in mind from almost the very beginning. I started writing it and showed Paul the first few pages and he asked whether I was writing it for us. And once he said it, I thought that it was a great idea, so I kept going. Um, and then uh, we sent it out to a few producers and um, the ones who signed on, uh, who we met with and liked the best, were people who actually produce Little Miss Sunshine and we had been thinking about Jonathan and Valerie from the very start um, and they also brought them up as kind of the dream team for this movie so even though they hadn't made a movie since Little Miss Sunshine and they had been offered all kinds of big budget things and been working on a lot of scripts at a you know with movie stars and at a much higher scale um, we just took the chance and sent, sent this to them and I, I think we just looked out they really responded to it it seemed like the right time for them to make a movie and um, we spent about nine months uh, like working together, collaborating, you know, coming to an understanding of the film that we were going to make together with them giving me notes and me rewriting and flying across country to do casting sessions and it was really fun and, and then we got to make the movie last summer. Mm -hmm. Well, what I loved most about it was that the message is you can't control love. And that's sort of what the you know dramatic climax was about at the end. Uh, was this personal at all? What made you you know what helped you develop this story? It's a really good question. Um, yeah, I think that I had felt in relationship before, like um, the person that I loved sort of loved some idea of me that was about three shades off from who I was, and made me feel really lonely and I think um, I was sort of writing from that perspective but also frankly I think I've learned a lot in my relationship with Paul we've been together almost five years and just learning like how relationship is regenerative and people are infinitely mysterious and you know I feel like I'm learning new things about Paul all the time and the things that I find challenging about him are the things that make him who he is. So, no, it's true though. Don't like, <laughs> you, you sort of, the idea of a perfect person, there is no perfect person for you. You know, it's all about uh, y y how you come to them. And uh, I, I keep saying, you know, like the first honeymoon stage of love is all compulsion. And after that, it's choice. And making the choice to stay with someone, the choice to love who they really are and not some idea of them, those are, those are important and hard choices to make. Well, the cast was great, and I mean, your guys' chemistry just comes right off the screen. Can you talk about working with, you know, Chris Messina and Elliot Gould? Can you talk about that? Yeah, well, Chris Messina um, came into the audition room, and he was the first person where we just felt a lot of love between Calvin and Harry. A, a lot of people were, were able to be funny, but he just brought this sort of grounding brotherly love, even though we looked nothing alike. It felt the most like we were brothers, okay. and, and he did such a great job. And then Elliot Gould, I couldn't believe when that idea came up. The Long Goodbye is one of my favorite films, so I was so excited to have him in the film and Annette Antonio. get to spend a day with him. And Annette, when we found out, she said yes to the film. I cried. So he cried. <laughs> yeah. um, Antonio, that we never would have thought of that. The character's name is Mort. We were definitely not thinking a handsome Latino man. Uh -huh. John and Val called up one day and said, what about Antonio Banderas? And it's so perfect because he's so different from Calvin. So when they go there, not, not only is that house so different, but Antonio is, you know. Uh, Walking around with his shirt off, he, like between takes, he'd be like lying out in the sun, yeah. sunbathing, be, like, looking at Paul like, what is happening? <laughs> Can you talk to me about the ad-libbing scenes that, you know, the, the parts where you got really clingy, you're happy, and, you know, Paul, um, Calvin tried to write you as one note to fix everything, you know, was there a, a, an ad-lib that went into those scenes? There wasn't really, yeah, um, the only points in this, the movie that are ad-libbed, I think, are the charades scene, because okay. uh, we had a script for that, but people were throwing in, you know, uh, improvisations, and then you don't hire an actor like Steve Coogan and then don't let him improvise. He's like uh -huh. the king of improvisation. So there's some stuff of his in there. But no, those scenes were really scripted. You know, Jonathan and Valerie are really unique. A lot of directors don't care that much about the script, but they won't go into production with a script that they don't feel is ready. So they worked me really hard before we, we started um, shooting, and I'm, I'm glad they did. Okay, well, guys, I, I love this movie, mm -hmm. and if, if I can ask, um, 12 Years a Slave, the F word, 
do. Is there an update on that you can give? Um, they've started shooting on 12 Years a Slave. And okay. I'm going to go shoot soon. Um, great cast, and I think Steve McQueen is a good filmmaker, so hopefully we'll go make a good movie. Excellent. What? And 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 I go and I go to Toronto in August to to start filming that, which is something that's just happened this week. So I think we're still trying to wrap our heads around being separated again. We've gotten to spend so much time together on this that it feels sort of like um, hard hard to be parted. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think this is going to take off. You did tremendously. Thank Thanks you for your time. So much. So much. Thanks yeah. for your smart questions. Really nice.